Bangkok is a city that has it all. It's a melting pot of cultures, languages and cuisines. Home to some of the most delicious food in Southeast Asia, with options ranging from traditional Thai dishes to international favourites like pizza and sushi. It also boasts a vibrant nightlife scene that is second to none. Bangkok is also one of the most affordable cities in Asia. So if you're looking for a break from the tourist traps and want to see what Thailand has to offer, this is the place for you. But Bangkok isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Some scams can land you in hot water. There are so many scams in Bangkok, it's hard to keep track. But we've narrowed down the five most common scams to be aware of and avoid while you're on a trip to this all-rounded city. Make sure to watch till number one, as that's the hardest to identify and get away from. Number five, the fake receipt scam. The fake receipt scam in Bangkok is a well-known scam that people often fall victim to. It's a simple but effective scam that has been around for a while, and it happens when you're trying to buy something online or in an online store. If you're not careful about what your money is going towards, you could end up losing it without even realizing it. Here's how the scam works. You arrive at the store or go online to make your purchase. You enter some personal information like your credit card number or bank account number. You pay for the item using whatever method of payment you choose, cash on delivery, credit card, PayPal or whatever else, and then leave with the product in hand. The next thing you know, the price of the product has gone up by several hundred dollars. What happened? Well this is where things get tricky. You didn't purchase anything from the store or website. Instead, someone hacked into your account and made off with your money before you knew what was going on. That's right, someone else used your information as they thought they were you. And now they can use that same information again to steal more money from other people who don't know about it. Number 4. The Money Transfer Scam This happens when a friend or family member offers you money for an item they want you to buy at their local store. Don't buy anything from anyone who asks you to send money back home. It's almost certainly illegal. Also, in some cases, scammers reach out to people and ask them to send money via Western Union or MoneyGram, claiming that the recipient is in trouble and needs their help. The scammer will then take the money from the victim and tell them that they need to pay a fee or get it back within an hour. If you receive these types of requests from someone who is not familiar with the person they're asking for money for, please don't send any money. If you do send money, we recommend using a different payment method, like PayPal, so there are no issues with getting your money back if something goes wrong. Number 3. Fake Angkot Taxis You're walking along the street when a friendly looking taxi driver approaches you and says that his car broke down and he needs to get to the airport ASAP. He's probably just someone who saw your phone light up at an intersection and thinks you'll be willing to help them out. Don't do it. Just walk away from him peacefully. If he persists in asking for money or asks you to go with him somewhere else, call the police immediately. They can help you get this guy off the streets before he scams anyone else. Also, if you're being dropped off at a location you never agreed to, you have no idea where you're going, chances are your driver has already picked someone else up. This is a common scam for tourists who are unfamiliar with Bangkok's public transportation system. Number 2. Fake Tuk-Tuk Drivers We've been told that there are plenty of places where you can catch a ride with a fake Tuk-Tuk driver, and we know it's tempting to think that it's not too far away, it must be worth the risk. But if you get into an accident with one of those drivers, is it worth risking your life and your health? And if something happens to you during your trip with one of these drivers, will they have the insurance necessary to cover your treatment? The bottom line is this. If someone offers you a ride in their tuk-tuk and they don't seem like they are licensed as a tuk-tuk driver, or if they ask for money before taking you where you want to go, run like hell because that's not what real tuk-tuks do. Number 1. The I'm Lost Scam the I'm Lost scam is where someone will approach you and ask if they can talk to you for a moment. They'll usually be in a good mood and try to make a conversation with you before asking if they can use your phone or computer to find their way. It sounds like a harmless request, but it's a great way for scammers to trick people into giving up their personal information, or worse. If someone asks for help finding their way, it's best to say no. If you have time, give them directions or offer them some help. But if it seems like they're having trouble finding their way on their own, saying no is best. Hopefully, these five things to be aware of and avoid in Bangkok will help keep you safe and secure during your visit. Make sure to use all these tips, which will help you navigate the city as a more informed traveller. Have a safe and sound trip to your destination.